Hey guys welcome back to another reddit video. If you do enjoy this story don't forget to like and subscribe. Now to the story. I think my wife is in love with her female best friend. I have been married with my wife for 7 years and we meet 8 years ago in a church meeting and we became friends. My wife is a quiet, kind and beautiful woman, any man's dream therefore it was obvious that I fell for her instantly although she always behaved with what I thought was shyness, not wanting to cuddle with me or only kissing me on rare occasions we both were raised in Christian families in a part of our country that is really religious, but unlike me, her parents were always the type who follows the holy doctrine really seriously so she has a traditional way of thinking about religion and how women should behave so I always thought that it was because of that her behavior is like that. Sometimes I think she looks like a robot, she's nice and kind with everyone but a couple of times I saw her staying all quiet staring into space like if she was dead, over the years I began to take it as something normal on her personality because she always refused to go to the psychologist and always said that she's just like that. Until two months ago when she found out that the woman who was her best friend in high school was coming back to the town, I never saw her so happy and alive. I felt happy for her thinking that what she needed was a female friend. My wife never used to leave the house but since that woman is staying in the town she has been going out as much possible, she became a different person but not in a bad way, but she looks full of life and to be honest I never saw her smile as much as when she tells me that she will go out with her friend for a coffee, for the record. I'm sure she's not sleeping with her because she doesn't know how to lie and her behavior with me never changed. I'm not going to deny it. Days ago I started to feel jealous of that woman, that she is the reason why my wife smiles so much and is on her phone all day, out of pure curiosity three days ago I entered her FB and some albums were public, she had a lot of albums and I found pictures of her and my wife during high school, that woman was hugging my wife as if they were a couple. In some of the photos they were holding hands or looking at each other with bright smiles which is something she never does with me. Her family hates gay people although my wife never talked ill about them but just avoid talking about the topic which now makes sense to me. I don't know whether to confront her because maybe I'm just thinking too much or maybe she's in love with her ex-girlfriend? The only thing I'm sure of is that she only looks happy talking about that woman so I don't know what to do. Update 1. I decided to confront my wife and ask about the photos with her friend during high school, Everyone in the post said that they are most likely just friends and made my mind feel more in peace thinking that I was overthinking but when I showed her the photos she began to breathe fast in what I think was a panic attack, I helped her to calm but then she got upset because I sneaked in her friend FB. I knew she was trying to change the subject because she loves to do that so I got serious and told her to talk. After a few long minutes full of her trying to change the topic, she ended up telling me everything, indeed, she and her friend used to be a couple during high school and friends since kindergarten, they kept the relationship as a secret pretending to be only best friends until my wife's parents found out and beat her up separating them, her friend moved to the capital that year and they never saw each other again but for what my wife said and showed, they never stopped loving each other. In some point of the conversation my wife stopped calling her friend by name and without realizing she started calling her Mia Moore which hurt me because in all years married she never called me like that, I asked her if she was cheating on me with her friend and said that they never kissed or anything but I'm sure she's emotionally cheating me, she doesn't know what's that concept so she really believes she's not doing anything wrong. The reason why her friend never wanted to meet me or even go to our wedding is because she hates to see her love married with a man she doesn't even like and living a lie, ouch. I asked my wife if she loves me and said yes but like a best friend, yes, my own wife just friendzoned me. She cried a lot saying that she's really sorry for lying to me, when we meet we really clicked as friends and she told me that her parents insisted her to marry me so she could heal, that explained why she never liked to hug, cuddle or do anything romantic with me. It wasn't because she was shy but because she didn't like me. I wanted to lose my temper and yell at her, I wanted to cry and even run away because I was patient and empathetic with all the time she rejected my affection and I felt alone, I've even been thinking for years that maybe I'm a bad husband and I was treating her badly without realizing it, feeling insecure about my own personality but she assured me that I was never the problem. I didn't cry or yell, I just left the house and came to my sister's house, we didn't talk about divorce or anything like that. 
I even think my wife doesn't see any problem with what she did with her friend but I'm sure that I don't want to spend all my life in a loveless marriage with a woman that will never love me back. I'm sorry for the long post, I'm just venting at this point but I feel like I wasted all my youth, I didn't expect it to update so fast but I needed to talk about that. It's not like I don't feel bad for her, I do, but now I feel even worse for myself. Update 2. Maybe nobody remember my two first posts but I wanted to at least post a final update because I'm really thankful for all the kind comments and advices I received, they're helping me a lot. I come back to my house the day after my last update and my ex-wife was there laying in the couch, the first thing I said when I entered was, we're going to divorce, maybe that wasn't the best way of saying it but she have the habit of changing the topic when I want to talk about serious things so I didn't wanted her to do that this time. She clearly didn't expected that and started to cry and have an anxiety attack saying that we can't divorce, that I can't do that to us but what hit me harder was, there's no point in us breaking up, the fact that I don't love you doesn't change anything, which is true, I realized that our relationship was always like that, her treating me just like a friend and me accepting that kind of trait. She said that she never cheated or anything like that even if I explained again what's emotional cheating. I told her that she's not even attracted to man so there's no sense in staying married because we're just not for each other and asked her if she still loved that best friend and she didn't denied it but kept insisting that we shouldn't divorce. I can understand why she was so desperate but it made me feel used, like if I was her pathetic beard who she can always use as a shield for herself or a dog who will always be happy with the smallest token of affection. I don't need her signature anyway to get a divorce so even if she doesn't want to, we're 100% going to break up. I told her I'm not going to take her out of the closet but if anyone asks I'll just say the truth avoiding the sexuality topic because I don't want people gossiping and assuming things that didn't happen. The lands and basically all the things of the house are mine and maybe I'm an asshole for this but I told her that I will not give her anything because it's all mine and I inherited the land from my grandfather, at this point she just looked sad and defeated so didn't complain or anything, although I will get advice from a lawyer to be sure. I told her that she can stay until December in the house and she answered that she will be probably have to come back to live with her parents which actually made me feel bad because my ex-in-laws are not good people but for what she said, she's still talking with her best friend so luckily she's not alone, the conversation finished awkward with me just leaving. For now I'm staying at my sister's house, I can have time for myself since she and my other sisters are out of the province for a concert. I didn't talk with my ex-wife after that day and she didn't try to contact me but I know that she told my ex-in-laws about the divorce because they wanted to contact me to ask why we're divorcing but I just answered that these are things that need to be resolved only between her and me. So this will be probably my last update because I will go and see with my ex-wife after the divorce, we don't have children, sometimes she started talks about having a baby and now I feel really relieved of always saying that I didn't felt ready. Maybe something in me was already telling me that she wasn't for me, so we don't have anything that tie us together. I have been going to the psychologist since I was a child so I think that has helped me a lot to channel my emotions, many in the comments said that I shouldn't have empathy or things like that for her but we're both broken people that suffers from a religious trauma and I know how bad that mess to people's mind and heart. Some people in the comments were confused about why I stayed with her when she clearly didn't love me romantically but I don't know. Maybe I always justified her actions because somehow I felt identified with her, maybe I have a hero complex or maybe my sense of duty is too strong that I felt internally tied up with her and responsible of making her happy as her husband even if she always rejected my romantic love. I don't know, that's something I will talk and work with my psychologist. Also I received questions like why I married with her in the first place and she was the one who said, we should marry, and I was immature and young at that time and because we got along well I thought was a good idea. For now I just want to divorce and then spend time with my family. In general I feel numb and weird, I haven't cried yet and in the session of yesterday my psychologist told me that he thinks I already grieved the relationship long time ago even if I didn't realize it. I don't feel like I lost a wife but like I lost a close and good friend and company, not a heartbreak pain but a betrayal pain. Anyways, I don't want anything to do with her anymore. Maybe I'm being a bad person for abandoning her knowing the type of life she had but I can't save a person who doesn't want to be saved and I'm tired of trying. 
For now I will just say goodbye maybe not to a woman I saw as the love of my life but to a woman who helped me and was a good friend for years. I'm really thankful about the kind comments people left, even some mean ones which make me think that maybe I'm too quiet with how I reacted, that's something wrong? I was never the temperamental type, I'm sorry if the update is a boring one and not about me starting my villain era but that's not my style ha. Huh? Thanks everyone.